In this video, we are going to go over how to factor special cases for quadratics. Our first one, we have a 4 at the end of our factors. There is no value on the front, so I'm going to start by writing x times x is x squared. Multiples of 4 would be 1 times 4 or 2 times 2. To get a plus 4 in the middle, I would need to use both 2's, and my signs will be plus and plus. They add to 4, multiply to 4. Now this is called a special case because they're two of the same factors. So if I want a shortcut, I can write x plus 2 squared because there are two of the same. Next one, I don't have a value in front, so I can write x times x is x squared. 64, when I break down 64, it will be 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64, and to get them to make a plus 16, I need to add both. 8 plus 8 is 16. They multiply to make a positive 64. When I simplify it, it's x plus 8 squared. Question C. x times x is x squared. 81 is a perfect square. 81 would be 9 times 9. To get 18, I'd have to do plus and plus. 9 plus 9 is 18. 9 times 9 is 81. That gives me x plus 9 squared. I have an x squared in front. x times x. 81 is 9 again. 9 times 9 is 81. Then I have to get it to be a minus 18, so they would both need to be negatives to get negative 18. Negative 9 multiplied by negative 9 makes a positive 81. So for this one, I would have x minus 9 power of 2. Can you build an equation that would also make a perfect square on your own? I'm going to do x squared. What's a perfect square? I could do 2 times 2 is 4. I could use 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is 25. Anything that's a perfect square. So I'm going to try a positive 25. <clears throat> that means that in here, because I picked 25, I would have to have a plus 10x or I could do a minus 10x. Because it would break down to x, x, 5 and 5 plus plus to get plus 10. If you had chose to do like a minus sign, it would be x, x, 5, 5, minus, minus, to get minus 10. That's also a perfect square. You could have used a 16. You just have to build your own. Next question. There now is a value in front. I'm going to... Use the same method we did I'm gonna use the same method from yesterday and then I'll show you a shortcut so if I use my method from 2.3 where I multiply the 25 over times 9 25 times 9 I would get, I'll bring it over here, x squared plus 30x plus 220. 
225. Now 225 is divisible by, oh, I already did that. Okay, 225 divided by, let's try 15. Yeah, 15. It ends in five, so that's why I tried 15. So I would get x and x, 15 and 15, and then to get plus 30 from 15 and 15, I need plus and plus. I then have to divide the 25 back out. 15 divided by 25 is going to reduce. So you click math, math, enter, enter. It reduces to x plus 3 over 5 x plus 3 over 5. When I rewrite it, we get 5x plus 3, 5x plus 3, which is 5x plus 3 squared. This is an x. It's a little weird x, but now the shortcut. <coughs> 25 is 5 times 5. This only works with special cases. 9 is 3 times 3. Now in the middle, I have a plus 30. That means these need to be plus signs. Because 3 times 5 is 15 plus another 15 would add up to 30. Shortcut, long way. The shortcut works on the perfect squares. 25 is a perfect square because five times five, nine is a perfect square because three times three. So when you go down here, we have nine times nine and 16 times 16. Nine and would become three X times three X. 16 Y squared would become four Y times four Y. Four times four is 16. Y times Y is Y squared. Then to get a minus in the middle, I need to have minus signs because negative 12 minus 12 again makes negative 24. Can you build your own perfect square trinomial? <coughs> Let's try and build one. I'm going to use six. Six times six is 36. And at the back, I'm going to use seven. Seven times seven is 49. Which means the middle, I'm going to use a plus sign would be seven times six, seven times six, and then I need to do another seven times six. So plus another 42 makes a total of 84. 84 X is in the middle. These ones are really difficult, so if you struggled with this, you'll be fine on the assignment. Next question. We have 64x squared minus 9. So our question is, are these perfect squares? 64 is 8 times 8. 
9 is 3 times 3. So when we factor it, we will get 8x and 8x for the front to get x squared. 3 and 3 will go in the back. And then to get no middle term, this is tricky, there's no middle term. I need a plus version and a minus so that they cancel out the middle. I cannot write this as squared because they have different values or different signs. So 49, 49 would be 7x times 7x. 64 is 8 times 8. Then my signs will be a negative or a positive and a negative so that the middle eliminates and there's no middle term. Twenty five is five X times five X. Sixteen is four Y times four Y. To get a middle term to cancel out, I would need a positive and a negative value so that it eliminates in the center. And I want you to see that positive 4y times negative 4y makes a negative 16 when I multiply these. So on your assignment, there will be a question where these are grouped together. So on this one, instead of having a minus sign, it has a plus. This one's going to be different. I'm still gonna factor it. I'm still going to get 5x and 5x. I'm still going to get a 4y and a 4y, but because there's a plus sign here and I have a positive and a negative to get no middle term, I have to add something on to my 4y's so that when I multiply them, they become a plus sign in here. So this will be in a later unit, but I just wanted to throw it in to give you a little extra glimpse. This 4y and this 4y, I'm just going to put the letter I on it. And that will be my answer. These I's are, you'll learn about later. They will end up changing this negative when you multiply to a positive. So let's try this one. I would do my parentheses. 4 is 2 times 2. 9 is 3 times 3. And then to get no middle term, I do a plus and minus. Positive 3 times negative 3 makes a negative 9. So my sign is fine. Down here, I still have a 2x and a 2x. I still have a 3y and a 3y. I still have no middle term. But now when I multiply positive 3 times negative 3, it makes it a minus 9. So to fix my sign, I place an i and the letter I. ACT application, what is the product? Least common multiple. Uh, 
of 6 and 4 multiplied by the greatest common factor of 12 and 8. Okay, factoring. That would be 4 times 3 and 4 times 2. 4 is the greatest common factor. The multiple, 6 would be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Multiples of 4 would be 4, 8, 12, 16. The least common multiple, 12 times 4 is 48. It's a little brain teaser. If you are going for a road trip that is 720 miles and travel at an average speed of 80 miles per hour, how long will your road trip take? not including breaks and stops. So if you go 720 miles, you want to divide it by the 80 miles you're going per hour. So then I would have 720 divided by 80 makes a 9. Shortcut zeros cancel, 72 divided by 8 is 9 hours driving. Let me know if you have any questions.